Hello, and welcome to the Georgia Department of Education's tiny URL series for world history. I'm Chastity Manning, and today we're going to look at how to use post-it notes to check for understanding. We're going to feature content in the pacing guide for the Georgia Department of Education, Unit 7, Standard 13. Why do you need to close a lesson? Well, it reinforces students' learning, and it allows them to ask questions that they may have, might have felt uncomfortable asking in class, and it helps them link concepts to previous lessons and units. Specifically, we're going to look at Standard 13, which is examine the intellectual, political, social, economic factors that changed the worldview of Europeans from the 16th century to the late 18th century, though you can use these strategies with any concept you're on. We're looking at post-it note strategy number three because one and two was covered in the video, uh, the previous video showing closing activities with post-it notes. So strategy number three asks you after you complete your lesson of choice on standard 13 to have the students put three things they learned on the front of the post-it note and any remaining questions or terms they didn't understand on the sticky side of the note. And then as the students are leaving, I have them them all over my door frame. So some of the kids jump really high. I always have to get a desk at the end of the day to get them all off. And it's a real quick check for me to see what they don't understand because I do not pay attention to the front. I just check the back to see what questions they have so I can make sure tomorrow, the next day in my um, opening activity, I address any remaining questions that the kids have. This is str uh, note strategy number four looks at spice. So we're asking the kids to categorize the impact of the scientific revolution or the enlightenment and have them choose three. You can have them do all of them um, and put it on a post-it note just to make sure that they understand the significance and the impact of the scientific revolution and the enlightenment. Here's three examples. So for S, which is social, enlightenment disrupted the social order by empowering people other than the nobility. P, the political, the Enlightenment changed the political structure by questioning the power of absolute monarchs. I, intellectually, the scientific revolution changed how people looked at the problems and helped uh, develop the scientific method. And this allows them to reinforce their learning that they covered in class to ensure that they understand the scientific revolution and the Enlightenment. As always, please check us out at Georgia Department of Education's community pages, World History, or on Facebook for uh, Georgia World History teachers. Uh, just request a join and I will let you in. I'm excited to work with you this year. Thank you for checking out this video.